Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today I have another favorite things type of video. Alright, so we are now in the uh, week between Christmas and New Year's. It's always a big lull. Um, especially, I mean this year, hold on, my business partner wants to join me. Come on. Come on. There she goes. <laughs> Uh, so during this lull, I don't know about you guys, but I find myself doing a lot of um, a couple of things. I do a lot of eating, I do a lot of TV watching, and a lot of sleeping during this week. Almost to the point where you just kind of lose track of days. Um, it's actually kind of a wonderful um, limbo week, you know? Like it doesn't even really, you just kind of somewhat exist. Anyway, I thought that this would be a great time to kind of walk through um, some of the YouTube channels that I really enjoy and that I watch. Now, I almost didn't do this video, only because I watch YouTube all the time. Um, I mean, it's it's kind of my TV. It's what I watch instead of, I mean, I watch the news, um, and occasionally I watch movies and stuff with my family, but it's kind of, you know, my end of night, wind down, I sit down and watch a few videos on YouTube. Um, you know, sometimes, depending on, um, you know, parts of my life, sometimes I will be, I'll watch more than others. But um, I hesitated to do this video only because there are so many fantastic channels out there, and I was terrified that I was going to miss somebody, <laughs> to be honest. And I'm like, that's ridiculous. Like, you need to... I mean, my channel got a huge boost when Lisa Kish from And So On... Um, shared my channel on her channel. Um, also, Joy Bernhardt had talked about me on her channel. There, both of those, right at the beginning of when I first started this channel, really boosted my own subscribers. Um, so I thought, you know, I, I definitely need to pass on the love, and I know that you guys are all, uh, oh, I've, number one, I've been asked a ton about um, sewing channels and that kind of stuff. So if you guys are really in the mood to do some sewing binge watching, definitely go through, check out all of these. I, I really encourage you to check them all out. Pick your favorites, subscribe to your favorites, um, but definitely go have a look at all of these because there's some really, really good ones. I'm not gonna talk about all of the ones that are on this list here. I am part of a sewing vlogger support group on Facebook, which if you are interested in making a channel, if that's something that you're kind of thinking of doing for the new year, definitely go have a look at that um, um, Facebook page because it's fantastic. It's full of a lot of information and a lot of support and help and it's just a really great thing um, that Mel from, well she used to be Ditsy Tulip, now she is Linen, oh gosh, Linen Bloom Heirloom. Um, she changed her channel name recently. Um, and then Kim from Dorothy's Daughter is also a big, um, I don't, I think Mel's the one that started it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But you have to um, ask to join. But yeah, if that's something you're interested in, it's a fantastic place. So I have listed all of the channels down below in the description box of all the people from there as well um, that are in that group. So definitely go have a look-see. Now, I can't talk about everyone on here. Number one, I don't have time. I just don't have time to watch all of these channels. Um, you know, I'm I'm creating content for my own, but um, but I do watch quite a few, and I also have some style channels on here because not only do I, um, you know, love to follow things with sewing, obviously, but I also really love to follow and keep up to date on styles and trends, um, and I just don't have the <laughs> wherewithal to keep up on that on my own. So I have a few styling channels I'm going to talk about first, um, and I do get a lot of questions on those as well. Um, I mean, sewing and fashion, it kind of goes hand in hand together. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to go through these, but I definitely want to encourage you to hit all the links below. Um, I will do, I'll show you how to get to that description box right now. You have to be on a, a computer or a tablet or a phone or something in order to get to the links. If you're just watching it like on Roku, on a TV, you you can't see the links um, from the description box. But yeah, I will show you this video on how you drop down to very easily find all the links that are down there for all the videos. But go have a look through all of these. I just don't have time to talk through all of them. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Um, I've got my tablet down here just so I don't forget anything. So the style channels that I love to follow. And these are in no particular order. I was literally just going through my own um, subscription list and as it was popping up, I was putting things down. So um, The Daily Connoisseur, Jennifer L. Scott, she has written a couple of books. Um, 
And she's not really necessarily, she does the Tinnitum wardrobe is her big thing. Um, she's done a TED talk on that. She does a lot of stuff with lifestyle. I just like how she's a homeschooling mom. Um, she just brings elegance back into the world a little bit. And I just really like the way she talks and sounds. Um, anyway, she's she's fantastic. So the Daily Connoisseur is a really good one. She has a ton of different um, content on her information, on her channel. I would call her more of a lifestyle vlogger, I guess. Um, but yeah, and she's got books and published. She's a big one. That's the other thing. Some of these channels are really big and you probably heard of them. Um, you know, they don't really need a shout out from me by any stretch. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, these are just the ones that I watched. I just, I wanted to talk about the ones that I personally watch because that's what the questions I get asked. Um, and I just don't have time to watch all of these. So, but I do want to bring them to your attention because there are some fantastic ones. And if I had more time in my day, I would definitely be watching more of these. Okay, second one, Audrey Coyne. She is also lovely. She has a fantastic speaking voice as well. I believe, I think she's a trained opera singer, to be honest. She's talked a little bit about that on her channel. She's a minimalist with her wardrobe, but I like her classic style, and I, do, I love listening to her talk. She's very soothing. <laughs> Um, next, Busby Style. Erin is on there. She does a lot with uh, Fashion Over 40. Um, she's an actual stylist in Telluride, Colorado, and so she's got a lot of great tips and ideas and stuff like that. Uh, Dominique um, Soxies is also, she is actually a news anchor down in Houston, maybe? My mom actually put me onto her. She does a lot of makeup tutorials and again, fashion over um, 50, fat 40, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, she's a news anchor, so she's very pleasant to listen to because she has an, a news voice. Um, Christy Russell, of course, that is um, probably the one I watch the most, but she does a ton of stuff with um, style and um, she has a whole bunch of programs that she runs on her um, website and stuff like that too, but she's the one that did my colors. I get to ask that a lot and she's the one that I got my uh, colors done virtually. That was through her. Okay, sewing channels. These are in no particular order. Why is that doing that? Okay, I, again, I was just going down through my... Um, list here. Okay. First up, Kittenish Behavior. Sean from Kittenish Behavior. I, I watch her. Um, she she was doing daily vlogging. She calls them her daily waffles. Um, she She's most days, you know, she'll miss a few days here or there. Um, you know, and it's a lot of just chatting about sewing and she just feels like a friend at this point. Um, she does a lot of, you know, showing her makes off. Uh, my daughter really loves her style. They're uh, built similarly, long torsos and that hourglass shape. And so my daughter really likes to see what she's wearing because um, that's usually things that my daughter likes as well. Well, so she's a good one um, to springboard off that, but I do. I watch Sean quite frequently. Um, the Stitch Sisters, they are, that is Nikki and Rachel. They are fantastic British um, duo, and they uh, do not only chatty type videos, they do a lot of like sewing the trends, that kind of stuff, but they also have a lot of um, tutorials and that sort of thing on their channel. So that's the thing with the sewing channels. I have some that are more chatty sewing channels and some that are more um, like information, um, like teaching basically, like some real good nitty gritty. Um, what else do we have here? Oh, Natita from So Natural Dane is fantastic. Uh, she does a lot with the um, curvy sewing and she knocks it out of the park. Um, she's just, yeah, she's just a beautiful soul and just lovely to listen to. So definitely she's also a really, really good one um, to watch. Um, let's see what else. Stitched Up, that's Rachel from Stitched Up. She does mostly um, vlogs. Occasionally she'll do like a, um, so just like her, like through her week and she'll kind of pop in, um, popping on every week or so. And she did Vlogmas as well. I actually haven't had a chance to watch her Vlogmas, but I'll probably go back and do that actually during this week while we're sitting here. <laughs> but she does a lot of cool stuff on her channel and it's, it's just fun to see what I feel like a lot of these vlogs, it's just fun to like check in. You feel like a sewing friend a little bit, even if you've never spoken to that person in your life, but it is kind of fun to see what other people are making and get inspired to make things yourself. And sometimes just seeing other people in the act of making will spur me on to do, maybe it's not even what they're doing, but I'll see like, oh my gosh, that dress is beautiful that she just made for herself. I really want to go make a coat, you know? Like, <laughs> I just find it, them to be very inspirational um, along those lines. Um, Anita by Design. If you guys aren't following Anita, she is one of the most, her story, first of all, is just, it is, it is amazing. Um, 
she was sewing and stuff before her husband passed away from brain cancer and it was really really quick her um, story and her faith is absolutely amazing but she has a fantastic channel as well and just a lot of really good nuggets of wisdom over there she just redid her sewing room so that it's beautiful it's absolutely gorgeous and she like did it all herself um she's got two grown sons so oh she's she's really good definitely want to go check her out um, next inside the hem, that is Lindsay. Uh, she does a ton of tutorials. Um, I mean, she shows you how to do certain gadgets. I mean, if, I watch her channel a lot for the um, first impression videos. She goes through it every time the big four releases new patterns. She'll go through those and also independent pattern designers. She'll go through the, their catalog and kind of go through things. I just feel like it's like going through patterns with a friend kind of and things that I might have missed had I just been going through it myself. Um, but she does a ton of things on, you know, little, uh, like I said, gadgets, sewing notions, sewing tools. Um, she does craft sewing as well as garment sewing as well. She's she's a, a really good to follow. Uh, one that I recently started following, she doesn't have a ton of videos up yet, but Monica, that's so Monica. Um, she's pretty, um, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? She's on Instagram a lot. <laughs> My brain just went blank. She's on Instagram quite a bit, but she does have a YouTube channel. And actually she just did, well not just, like two months ago or so, she did a video with, um, it's actually the gal that did my mom's colors. Jen Thoden, I think maybe. Um, anyway, she d had her colors done and they're talking about it on her channel. She's just a delightful personality. She's so bubbly and just really a fun person to listen to. Again, she doesn't have a ton of videos on her channel, but I would, I hope that she starts to do more because she's really enjoyable to listen to as well. Um, next up, we've got the Fold Line. So that is the UK company that does all of the patterns and they have a huge database. It's a wonderful website, but they also do, um, Kate, who's part of the duo of the Fold Line, does a lot of videos on like sewing the trends, new pattern releases. She, they do the sew down. Um, it's just nice to kind of get ca caught up, I think, with the sewing community and what's new, maybe a release I missed or yeah, what new books are in the community. She, they're just great for keeping you up to date on that kind of thing. Um, let's see what else we've got. Oh, Tabitha Sower. Um, she is, I mean, she's had a bang up year. I mean, she has just been, it, her business has exploded this year. But go have a look at her, um, YouTube channel. She just did a whole series on, she has a new warehouse of her new studio, basically, and kind of gone through all of that. She does a ton of, um, tutorials and that sort of thing. She's just very creative, very colorful so much beautiful color on that channel and she's also a delight so definitely that's a fantastic one that i really like to um, follow as well uh mimi g style she's a big one i mean of course she's got a ton of tutorials um some shorter videos with the, um like hauls and stuff like that she's a little bit hit or miss she's not a, a regular poster because she's got a hundred things going on but very um very cool stuff when she does post the same with Brittany j jones she um fantastic content. So, so with me. She calls them her so with me, but she also has a ton going on, on her plate. She's doing some stuff, I think, with Creative Bug now, and she's got the new fabric store, Melanated Fabrics with Mimi G. Um, she also teaches me for Mimi G's um, school, the Sew It Academy. Um, anyway, but she, the stuff that is on her YouTube channel is, I mean, it's, go back and watch the old stuff even. It is, she's got a ton of content on there, and it's all really, really good. And she's also so delightful to listen to because, I mean, she just, She's just bubbly and happy and just a wonderful personality to listen to. Um, Kim from Dorothy's Daughter is also um, fantastic for tutorials and um, sew-alongs and tips and tricks. She's just a wealth of knowledge. Um, she does her sewing uh, bee, I think. She does those on Sundays, I believe, which are kind of a live sew with me type of thing. Um, she's also delightful and uh, does a lot. She actually does a lot of kids sewing and that sort of thing as well, if that's kind of up your alley. She does adult sewing as well. Um, but she's, yeah, she's also really uh, lovely to, uh, to watch as well. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, the last stitch. Um, uh, Joanna? Johanna? Oh, Joanna. I'm not saying her name right. She's Sweden. Swedish. She's Sweden. She's Swedish. She is phenomenal. I mean, she just did a um, ebook on jean sewing. She, I mean, the wealth of knowledge is like, yeah, all of the knowledge, sewing knowledge. She's really, really good. And I'm pretty sure she has a background in um, social media or um, content creation, something like that. Like for her day job, um, she's she's really good. She's got a really, really good channel. Um, but the last stitch, she a ton of information. 
uh, that's on there. Uh, Kira from the Island Socialist, she does some really cool stuff. Um, she uh, recently now is working for Love Notions, but she um, she's part of their ambassador team as well, but she has done some really cool stuff with their patterns. She's great at like hacking things. Um, she recreates some looks from Pinterest and just does a real bang up job on there. She has a fantastic, fantastic um, accent. I love listening to her talk. Um, it's very island and just, it's it, she's a gorgeous girl. And uh, yeah, her projects are really, really good. Kira is, She's just done some really cool stuff on her channel that, yeah, I highly recommend going over there. Um, oh, Viv Mom Sews. Viv, I mean, right, like you guys all know Viv Mom. Um, she does a whole bunch of fun chatty stuff. She sews through a lot of things. You know, she knows her style and does a really great job over there chatting about that. The same with Joy Bernhardt. Um, she's a fun one to get on and chat. You know, the, you kind of feel like you're sitting again with a friend listening to them um, talking about their sewing and the projects that they're doing and also a lot of knowledge and kind of showing what they're doing. So the both of those are good. Both of them are large channels. I mean, that's probably um, as a lot of these are. Uh, Lisa Kish from And So On. Like I mentioned before, Lisa was one of the ones that mentioned my channel, in addition to Joy Bernhardt, um, that really helped get things kicked off with it, which then, you know, made the algorithm on YouTube recommend me to people. And then it just, I felt like it was the jump start to really kicking off the growth of my channel. So I'm very, very much indebted to both of those gals. Um, but Lisa is living in Spain and has been, let's see, I think they're on year two now with her family. Her videos are so fun to watch. She does a lot of knitting over there as well as sewing. Um, but yeah, it's fun to see just them, you know, they're Canadian and they're expats living in Spain. And it, it's a really cool journey to watch actually um, over on her channel. Um, let's see. Oh, Mel that I mentioned, the Linen Bloom Heirloom Sewing and Craft. She used to be Ditsy Tulip and she recently changed her YouTube name. She does a lot of really cool stuff too. She likes to play around with editing and that kind of stuff. So she'll have some really cool stuff on her channel um, that's really fun to watch. She also has some really cool Instagram reels that she's been playing around with. So definitely follow her over there too. She's, she's a joy. Um, let's see. Oh, Claire from Penguin and Pear has a ton of information. She is great with the curvy sewing um, community as well. She just has a ton of, um, you know, pattern suggestions and um, tips and tricks and all that kind of stuff. She's She's got a, a lot of information, really good stuff on her channel. Karina from Lifting Pins and Needles. I mean, you guys all know Karina as well, right? Like she is the tutorial queen. Tons of information over there. Her sewing is impeccable. Um, she just does a lot of really cool stuff. She is one of those people. She sews with chiffon a ton. And I just, it's like one of her favorite fabrics. And I find chiffon very difficult to work with. <laughs> I'm always like, God, show, teach me your ways, Karina. Teach me your ways. I've done some collaborations with her, though, before. She's just a wonderful person in general. But yes, her channel is fantastic and, and a lot of fun. Um, Laura, the specky seamstress, she also, she just launched a new business, a bias binding uh, business. Definitely want to go over, um, she's got a ton of stuff on her channel too, a lot of, you know, makes. She's a queen of using novelty prints and just, blo you know, knocks it out of the park. I just, it's one thing I love about sewing channels is when you can find someone that's really embraced their style and what they love and then runs with it. I mean, what's better than that with sewing? Like, it's just such a wonderful thing. Um, and I love seeing people do that. And again, she also has a business, she just started a little side hustle, um, a bias binding and has some amazing stock. So definitely go head over there and um, yeah, to go see her stock and stuff that's in there. Um, let's see, I've got two more here. Joey Soey. Um, also, she is so fun to listen to and watch and um, she mixes some store-bought and thrifted items as well um, with her sewn items. She's just a, a lot of fun. And then Jane from Loopy's Mabel's, Loopy Mabel's Closet also does, she does a whole crochet channel as well. Her crochet is absolutely gorgeous. Um, but she does a whole bunch of fun stuff um, with uh, wardrobe building and um, yeah, also someone that just knows her style and just blows it out of the park um, with that as well. Um, and I think, I mean, again, there are so many channels that I have, I don't even know. In fact, I think I'm going to have to kind of squeeze things to get things to fit onto the description box. But yes, all of my sewing um, vlogger support group people that are, um, that I, we had a, have a spreadsheet that kind of goes through there. Um, but I've listed all of their channels down below. So, um, and links to all of their channels down below. Go have a look. Test them all out. Spend the week finding new sewing channels and new um, content because a lot of these people are new, brand new channels. So 
there's a lot of really good stuff that's out there. Um, so just stuff to discover and new people to discover. And I feel like the more people that we have in this YouTube sewing world, the better because all of us are different and all of us have um, different ways of sewing and different ways of, um, I mean, we're all different creatively. Uh, I think it's just great. It just all adds to the pool of creativity and inspiration for all of us to kind of pull from. So yes, we're better together. So definitely go have a look at all of those channels that I'll have linked below um, and it'll keep you busy for quite some time. <laughs> So that's all I have for today, guys. Um, I hope that you all will find some new ones that you haven't um, seen for a while. And yeah, these are the ones that I kind of follow the most, but yes, explore, find some new ones. Um, there's just some really great seamstresses out there that are joining the YouTube fray. And yeah, it's just gonna make the community that much stronger and that much better. So we are seamstresses and sewers, hear us roar type thing. <laughs> Okay, if I've missed anyone that you really, really love, tell me down below in the comments. I'm always looking for new people um, to follow and to just be inspired by. So definitely um, leave me a comment down below and maybe I could do a follow-up video at some point on more and newer channels as they pop up just so we can all stay informed and all, um, yeah, support each other. Cause that's just, I mean, it's YouTube, it's free. You know, it's just a matter of going over and subscribing to someone and liking a video. Um, anyway. That's all I have for today. I hope you guys are enjoying your week between Christmas and New Year's and aren't eating or sleeping too much. Or maybe, you know what? We only live once, right? YOLO, right? Is that the young people say? <laughs> okay, guys, that's it for me today. I will see you guys again on Wednesday. Okay, or Friday, I mean, because I will not have a vlog up tomorrow because of Vlogmas and because I went through Vlogmas. Um, I just don't have anything to share for tomorrow. <laughs> so um, it'll just be today's video and then a video on Friday and then we are in the middle. We've just started to sew along so that'll be going up on Sunday um, and then regular service will resume after the new year. So I'll go back to adding the weekly vlog on Wednesdays but there won't be one this week just because I just ended Vlogmas and you've seen it all. So <laughs> you can go back and watch all the old Vlogmas videos you missed, I guess. All right, guys, that's all I've got for today. I'll see you on Friday and then again on Sunday for another um, part of the uh, coat so long that we're doing and it's good. I finished it today. It's really good. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good one. Bye-bye.